Don't look at God's Word as some myth or whatever. It is truly the infallible Word of God. It's amazing we have people out there tonight believe the Bible is just a myth, but they believe other things, history books, is the truth. Let me tell you something. And I want, I want, I want to tell you something also tonight. A friend is someone, praise God, that will stick to you close as a brother. Now, I'm running over tonight on this podcast. Usually, I try to keep them about 30 minutes. But since we're talking about self-control tonight, I do want to share this with you. Consequences of our actions. Hosea chapter 10, verse 12 says, Plant the good seeds of righteousness, and you will harvest a crop of love. Plow up the hard ground of your hearts, for now is the time to seek the Lord, that he may come and shower righteousness upon you. What are the consequences of sin tonight? The wages of sin is death, Romans 6.23. The tongue can bring death or life. Those who love to talk will reap the consequences. Proverbs 18.21. Sin invites the full impact of God's warning, which often includes his punishment. Sometimes God's punishment is immediate, and sometimes it is delayed. But, Ask this question. Do I suffer the consequences of another person's sin? Let me explain that. See, Adam's sin brought death. No death spread to everyone for everyone's sin. Everyone still suffers the consequences of Adam's sins, but you too have sinned and deserve the same punishment as Adam. Oh, mercy, mercy, mercy. The person who sinned is the one who will die. That's what Ezekiel 18.20 says, while you may suffer the consequences of another person's sins, be assured that the one who sins against you will also reap the consequences. That is, that came out of a book called The Wisdom from the Word for Men. And that's a little book I read every night. Once again, I want to say thank you for listening. If we can help you on any of this subject that we've talked about tonight, all you have to do is email us at reverendnat94 at gmail.com. If you would like to even write us, all you have to do is, is just put Nuggets of God's Word, 99 Walter Avenue, Sumter, South Carolina, 29153. I want to tell you something. We're here to help you. And um, I want you to know that we're here to help you. And um, until the next time, this is Pastor Reverend Nathaniel Nat Brown saying, God bless you. God bless America. Thank you to all our men and women in uniform. Thank all our men and women in blue. And thank all our veterans. Until next time. Whoo, next time. This is Nuggets of God's Word with Pastor Nat Brown. Share this. Tell your friends about our podcast. Whoa, yes, we love you, and God loves you.